Anyway, this evening, though, if you've got some plans to be out, it is OK. It's a Randy factor of six now going forward. We drop back in the low 40s. A couple of sprinkles showing up on uh, Super Doppler 7 radar in Sarpy County. Not much, though. A few little light showers down here to the southwest of us across uh, Crete, uh, the area of Saline County, Seward County. Midnight onward, winter weather advisory for most of the viewing area. This is a winter storm warning for the western Iowa counties where the Weather Service thinks the combination of the wind, snow, and icing will be worse. There's our storm predictor now. 9 o'clock, just sprinkles, showers showing up by 1130, by 1 and 30, colder are starting to move in, sprinkles may be icing over. Nothing very heavy before 3, according to this computer model, snow picking up by 5, 7, 9, but the heaviest just east of us. This particular computer model, which is just in, has us only at 1.3 for snow in Omaha and a half inch in Fremont, but five inch amounts, Atlantic, Red Oak, Shenandoah. I think that might be a little too far east with the snow band and too light with our snow. I still think between one and three for most of the metro and east side, Bellevue, Counts of Bluffs could even be a bit more. As you'll see, this computer model run has the axis of heaviest snow in a similar spot, but more here. This is the American GFS computer model. It's even a little bit farther west with uh, some of that snow, and the European computer model has been very consistent. Three, four inches of snow forecast with this storm uh, for several days now for our area. Low 40s through midnight, then temperatures crash into the morning, and that's the issue. As it's going to be mild, we'll get some rain. Any snow will melt initially, and then as the temperatures drop, Everything that's wet will freeze 50 in Nebraska City, but 36 in Tecama and 35 now in Norfolk. Here's this front by 11. It's pretty close to the metro by 8 a.m. It's long gone to the south of us. And we got the band of snow with the icing before it. Then the north winds blow and cause blowing and drifting snow where the heavy snow is heaviest, especially across western Iowa. It could be severe blowing and drifting conditions. Then it's clear for tomorrow night. Another little system brings us some more clouds on Friday and another little dusting of light snow. This could be as much as uh, an inch coming in Friday late day and Friday night and then extreme cold coming in Saturday and then even colder into next week. So we'll be 40 degrees or so through midnight. Then rain will turn to snow after about 2 or 3 a.m. 19 by around 6 a.m. 16 by 8 a.m. Expect icy roads in the morning because of the temperature. Things that were wet will freeze up. Blowing snow going on at that time. And just 11 by 3. We keep on falling. Northwest winds 20 to 40 miles an hour, which will continue to cause some blowing and drifting snow where there is anything more than 2 inches of snow. 1 in 15 on Friday. That light snow, again, half an inch to an inch. Late day Friday, Friday night. Look, it's Saturday. 2 and 9. Another chance of some light snow on Sunday, Martin Luther King Day, two and five with a north wind and wind chills maybe down to 20 below zero there. And oh. Tuesday, 11 below in the morning. So a really cold stretch coming up starting off tonight. True polar plunge here. Yeah, a big okay. change. All right, thanks, Bill. Sure. Well, Scott Frost gets another new.